This ship was built in the middle of the prairies during the Depression. A farmer named Tom Sukanen had quite a dream. He'd build a ship, sail it down the South Saskatchewan River to Hudson Bay, and then across the North Atlantic to his native Finland. He almost made it. Tom Sukanen was an accomplished shipbuilder who emigrated to Minnesota after the turn of the century. He left his family there to homestead near Macquarie, Saskatchewan. Five years later, he returned to Minnesota on foot to find his wife had died in the great flu epidemic and his children had been adopted out. I think he took it very hard. Dick Meacher helped restore the ship and move it to its present site near Moose Jaw. He knows the Sukunen story well. He says the Finn returned to farming. He was good at it, but he was even better at building things. You see that little gear there went with, the, with that water clock upstairs. This gear went on the on the engine to drive it. Some of these pictures here are when we, when we raised the ship. Meacher and his museum group built the oversized cabins that are perched on the ship today. The cabins Sukuna never got to. Here we had a crane putting the cabins up. After the loss of his family, Sukuna became more and more eccentric. In 1929, he became homesick and decided to return to Finland. So he launched a rowboat onto the South Saskatchewan River somewhere around Outlook and incredibly rode all the way to Hudson Bay, a trip of almost 1,000 kilometers. Once there, he caught a freighter to take him across the ocean. I would think it would have been a great venture, or adventure. Uh, he would be going through a country he had never seen before. Uh, he was a man that walked from here to Minnesota and back again to get his children. So time and distance didn't seem to mean much to him. With no future in Finland, Sukunen returned to his farm in Saskatchewan. But later that same year, a shipment of supplies arrived at Macquarie. Iron, wood, and tin. For the next decade, he set to work building a 33-foot ocean-going ship. No one knows why, but Tom Sukunen was going home again. And this time, his plan was to sail all the way from Macquarie to Finland. Some of the people tried to help him, others thought he was crazy. Why would you think he was crazy? Well, he was different. And uh, anybody that's different, usually a lot of people consider them to be crazy. So, you know, just human nature, I guess. The ship became an obsession. Sukunen ignored his farm and worked all hours of the day and night. He seldom stopped to eat and wouldn't talk to anybody. By 1941, the boiler and engine were finished. By 1943, Sukunen was dragging the ship towards the river, section by section. He would put a post in the ground, and he had a set of winches, and he had a horse pull on the winch, and he'd pull it 50 feet, take the post out, set it in the ground again 50 feet further down, and keep moving it that way towards the river. He had made, I believe, about three miles. But one night, only four miles from the river, the ship was vandalized, and Sukunen, already at the breaking point, completely lost it. He broke down and couldn't go on. Personally, I think the man had the ability to do it. I'm not a sailor. I don't know anything about boats, but they say there's not a reason in the world why they wouldn't have gone across the ocean. Tom Sukunen's neighbors had him committed to the Battleford Asylum. He died there in 1943 without ever realizing his dream of sailing from the prairies to his homeland halfway around the world. For the CBC News Hour, I'm Bill Wazer.